and all of our experts are full of great ideas and tips. So we'd love to give you the chance to ask them your questions. So it's time for another edition of Ask the Expert. Let's start with this question for you, Bahar. It's from Roxy. Hi, Bahar. My name is Roxy. I'm hoping you can help me. How do I stop my eyeliner from smearing? Such a good question. There's a few things to look at. Your first thing I'd consider is your actual eyeliner formula. My best suggestion is to use a gel liner that happens to be waterproof because the gel liner is going to glide on and then that waterproof bit is just exactly what you're looking for. It's going to stick in place. The next thing to consider is are you using an eyeshadow or eye makeup primer? Because those things really help whatever eye makeup is actually placed on that surface area to grip a little bit better so that it prevents a lot of the product from slipping and moving around. Leanne, you are up next. Uh, here's a question about the foyer. Hi, City Line. Welcome to my foyer. I currently have these peel and stick tiles, and as you can see, in some spots they're moving. We'd like to replace them with regular tiles. My question is, do we need to remove the peel and stick tile or can we just place tiles on top? This is a great question and I have a really simple answer for you and probably not the one that you were hoping for, but the answer is yes, you absolutely have to take those peel and sticks up. The fact that you mentioned they're already moving around if you put anything over top, especially a traditional porcelain or ceramic tile, something that's a little more brittle, the last thing you want is movement. You need those suckers stuck down really, really well and installed properly. And by just putting them on something that's already a little loosey-goosey, you're going to have them cracking, you're going to have them breaking, and then your investment in them all together will go right out the window. So rip up those peel and sticks, make sure that you put down a really clean finish in terms of like setting the foundation and then you can pretty much put whatever you want on there. I love the fact that people are doing uh, like mini little renos uh, in isolation. It's great and great advice there, LA. So here's a question for you now, Massimo. Hi Massimo, my name's Christine. I'm tired of your average boiled or steamed broccoli. Do you have any ideas that are also kid friendly? Have you tried roasting them? You know, I mean, what I do is I take broccoli, I clean them, and I cut them into little spears. I put a little salt and pepper on it, and then I oil them. And I actually, I do that when they're still wet after I wash them. And uh, I try not to remove too much of the water. But I do put them on a baking sheet with a little bit of uh, uh, parchment. And then I roast them at a very high temperature for, uh, I don't know, five minutes, 10 minutes max, you know, so that they, they steam. The, the water will turn to steam and just cook them slightly and the roasting action with the oil will kind of make them a little bit crispy and that they are absolutely fantastic. See, his passion for broccoli runs deeper than even I expected. Uh, and uh, Janelle, Kalina has a question for you. Hi, my name is Kalina and this is my quick fashion question. Um, I've been doing a lot of dog walking and a lot of chilling around the house and just short walks and I found myself always kind of living in these athletic slides. These are my go-to. I love them, they're comfortable, they're easy to put on, but as I migrate back into the world, I was wondering if maybe looking for an alternative that's a little bit more sophisticated but just as comfortable and just as easy. I have the perfect solution, and I too wear athletic slides everywhere. I wear them around the house, I wear them outdoors. So these are actually what I would suggest. These are actually from Charlotte Olympia, and I got them at Studio D. They're extremely comfortable, very versatile, and can work with any occasion. I love it. We can still be relaxed, but maybe heighten, level up the style a little bit. Very nice adv uh, advice there, Janelle. Thank you, and thanks to all of you for your amazing advice.